Why is Wi-Fi so slow? Like literally everywhere I go nowadays. It's terrible. I get two actually. Yeah. No problem. I just bought a bunch of them, so like when I run into people, I'm like. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. And they're them. vinyl too, so that you can use them on your car or wherever. One of the cool things about always carrying around a camera is people see you and they're like, oh, he must do YouTube videos. So they always ask about it. So just ran into a guy and he was like, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, cool. I was like, I live in my Jeep. And he's like, yeah, man, what's your YouTube channel name? I gave him a sticker, said he's going to subscribe to the channel. So if you're here right now, thanks for subscribing. Being with uh, Rory and Carol, because, you know, I'm driving around with them. And people will be like, oh, I love your guys' Jeeps. And they're like, thanks. He's a YouTuber, go check him out. <laughs> so I was gonna go see Roy and Carol before I left on the trip. I was gonna run by their house, but they went back to the lakeside house to get some work done, you know, trying to get things bolted together. You guys gotta check out these storage bags. I can't wait to keep organizing these. That's the storage bag in my previous video that um, Roy gave me. I put my wallet in there, glasses, and all sorts of stuff. I can stuff so much in there. And look at, look at that thing, it's so cool. I actually slept with that next to me like all night last night and didn't have any issues with it. I was worried that it might stick out too much, you know, kind of dick in my face or my shoulder or whatever. Didn't have any issues with it. I loved it. I love all the stuff I can stick in there. I got my wallet in there and all sorts of stuff. I love it. Like you guys got to buy it. If you have a Jeep or anything with a roll cage, these bags are like a must have. They're awesome. Thank you so much, Roy. I really love these bags. I, I, I'm just, I haven't even organized the other one, but I already got so much stuff off the ground and put it in that bag. Love it. But I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me bicker about bags all day. Um, so now, now we're actually going to head to Blue River. I'm so excited about this, guys. We are getting back out into the wild. I was driving to the lake and Bonita started sounding like a Rice Krispie sh just snap, crackle, and pop. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna dump some of this Lucas injector cleaner in there. I think my injectors might be getting clogged up a little, you know, running bad fuel and all this other stuff. Approximately three ounces for every 10 gallons of fuel. So about eight ounces through now 22. Okay, figured it out. Electra never hurt anyone. That it might even help it clean. You guys remember how I told you I'm gonna be taking everything a little bit slower from now on? Well, I'm I'm really taking that to heart because uh, I'm about 20 minutes away from the river, and uh, it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't taken a shower in a while. I also need to get a workout in, but there's an Anytime Fitness literally right across the street. We still have plenty of time to go to the river, so I'm going to do the smart thing. I'm going to head over to the gym, see if I can get a shower in, you know, get some workout in, get rid of this pot belly, and then, then we'll go to the river. But we are in Oklahoma. <laughs> I feel refreshed, I look refreshed, I smell refreshed, and um, I, I just I just did something really bad. I got a pizza. Uh, don't judge me, okay? It's like, it's already almost two o'clock and I haven't eaten anything all day. It was five bucks. I mean, what am I supposed to do for five bucks? I'll eat healthier when I have more time and money. For now, five dollars for a pizza when I'm starving is great. Assuming it's good. Last time I had a Little Caesars pizza, it was nasty. Guys, look at this view. I've been driving country roads for the last like 20 minutes and it's only about 25 minutes farther up. Head down there to the Blue River. But I've just been like soaking it all in. Like look, there's cows over here. A minute ago I pulled over because I thought that this lady needed help. She had a Prius, she looked like an elderly woman and she had her hazards on the side of the road. But she, nope, she was just trying to feed some uh, mules or donkeys. I couldn't tell which, actually I just kind of drove past. But uh, it's like so cool out here. I grew up in uh, Kansas and I was born in Oklahoma so we kind of traveled between both liberally. 
and uh, I don't know, it just it feels like home to me. Like, it's not exactly what I'd usually have in mind as far as like nature and stuff. Cause you know, I like my forest and Colorado, my mountains, but these country roads, it's just so nice out here. I love it. Two lane roads, just soaking it all in. Look at this though. I'm getting over there. Just look at it! Look at that! It's so clear! I really, really want to know how deep that is! It looks really deep, like you can see! Look how deep that looks! How about this? Somebody bets me enough money, I'll jump in there. But they have to actually give me the money, and I'll actually get in there. Being out here by the water made me realize one thing, one thing for sure. I really want some coffee. Not necessarily because I'm tired or anything, I just really want some coffee to drink. Yeah. The anniversary roast for Starbucks, it's trash. I might just use this to fertilize the ground. This is from one of the local coffee shops. It's probably a lot better. Oh, it even smells better. This is also the first time I've actually tested using just a regular coffee maker while living in the Jeep. So I have no idea how it's going to work out. But it's going to be cool to, you know, test it. See? See if it even works. It might just kill my battery immediately. I don't know how much wattage it uses or ounces or... Thank <laughs> you. 